50% of credit card fraud happens at cash machines. There's nothing worse than when a cash machine keeps your card, except when it later gives that card to someone else. Alex and Jess are off to use the cash points in a busy shopping area. They'll be taking out a lot of money, not theirs, but someone else's. To do this, they'll be using a card catcher. Alex sets his trap while Jess occupies the other machine. This will prevent Alex from being caught tampering. Now they wait for a victim. In a shopping area, it's only a short time before someone wants to use a cash machine. This is the mark. He doesn't know it, but in a few moments, his account will be raided by Alex and Jess. The Mark's attempts at a transaction all fail, and what's worse is that the machine won't return his card. Oh, is it not? Oh, thanks. The Mark leaves, phoning his bank for help. Now Alex will retrieve the trap card, and the Mark becomes a statistic. 15% of all card fraud takes place at cash points, and last year that percentage cost over 65 million pounds. Alex has cashed up, so he and Jess can move on to their next victim. Let's go back to see how it was done. Alex needs to get hold of a customer's bank card, so he uses a card trapping device. Normally, when you use a cash machine, your card is sucked inside the mechanism so it can read the details on the magnetic strip. What Alex does is insert a card catching device that sits inside the ATM's card slot. When a card is inserted in the slot, it gets caught inside the card catcher and stays there until Alex comes along and removes the device and your trapped card. It only takes a few seconds for Alex to insert the card catcher into the slot. To the casual eye, it looks the same. Only in a side-by-side -side comparison is the difference apparent. Jess stays at the other cash machine so that the mark is forced to use the tampered one. Alex needs to know the mark's pin, so he shoulder surfs the mark and uses his mobile phone to record the pin as it's entered. With his car trapped in the machine, the mark gives up and leaves. He unwittingly plays straight into Alex's hands, as there is now nothing to stop him from retrieving the loop containing the card. With the mark's card, and his PIN number, Alex has an open door to the victim's account. When you're going to use the cash machine, before you put your card in, have a good look at the machine itself. Are there any devices that have been stuck on, especially around the card area? If you see anything suspicious, don't use the machine. Alert the authorities. If you're going to use a cash machine that's attached to a bank, Try and use the one that's located inside the bank. And when you're using a cash machine, always cover your pin. 